Monica, I know it was a tough Thursday, Saturday, you know, losing both games. But, you know, can you guys take anything away from those those two, as, uh, any positives, and try to carry it into this week? Every game we try to take something from it. You know, we're past the point of just saying, oh, we played hard, it was a close game. That was, that was what we said last year. So this year we really need to win these games. But the good news is that we're playing both of those teams again, and we have time to work on all the mistakes we made, such as turnovers, and you know that was our main thing. So it's good that we get to play those teams again. So that satisfied being close wouldn't even be good enough on Thursday, this Thursday? Uh, well, Green Bay. <laughs> well, you know they're a great team, but we're not gonna we're not gonna just play to be close. We want to play to win. You know we're gonna keep working, and they're a great team, but. We can make it a good game. We can make it interesting. How does this team get over that hump of just playing and being close to playing and getting the victories? Um, I think it, a lot of it comes in practice. You know, we, we can't just be okay with how we played because, you know, we did have some mistakes. So we need to focus on those. And, you know, we could just get be We just need to keep getting better. And that's going to help us win those games, being mentally tough, being physically tough, that's going to help us get over that hump of, you know, just being right behind the team instead of, you know, winning those games. Do you guys look at Green Bay as the standard bearer in this league? They, I mean, they're 15-0, and 0, they've won 35 straight. I mean, this is what everybody strives to be in this league, are they not? Yeah, it, that that is a, yeah, that's true. They are a great team. You know, they play well together. That's what a lot of the league strives to do. And, you know, but it, I said the other day, anything can happen. We can beat this team. They could have an off night. We could have a great night. And it could happen. We could beat this team. And we're going to work hard this week, so we can do so. Can you feel a little bit of a struggle with, with Heidi being out of the lineup? And just, you know, I mean, that's she's been a you know, second leading scorer on the team, someone that you guys have counted on. And, you know, you guys are not sure how long you're going to be without her. Has that affected, the, you know, just morale and play on the court? I mean, we're definitely still working hard. It does hurt us because she is such a good, great player. She scores a lot. She gets a lot of rebounds. But we don't want to just be defined by one person, even Brandy. You know, we all want to work as a team. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep working. And, we're, you know, we're ready to have Heidi back whenever she wants to come back and play. You know, we'll, we'll need her. But until then, we're just going to keep working. And, you know, other people need to step up, you know, rebounds and things like that since she's not here. Mugga, you girls are uh, six and three on the road. Is that something that you look at going into Green Bay instead of maybe them coming here? Yeah, that's definitely important. We have been playing uh, very good on the road, which is you know kind of weird. We lost two here, but you know been win winning a lot in other gyms. So you know we have to get in there, get some shots up, get a feel for the court. But so far, it hasn't been like an enemy or hurting us at all. So I think that that's a benefit to us. Do you think that there's a difference between uh, you playing on the road and compared to playing at home? Um, I mean, we, we have been playing good on the road, but we all love our gym. You know, we practice here every day, get shots up here every day. So, and it's, the atmosphere is so great. So, I mean, we do like playing at home, but, you know, playing on the road is, we like that too. And we'll play every, anywhere we want. <laughs> you hoping maybe they have a Packer hangover and they're still upset about it? Yeah, <laughs> hopefully the team's, the town's a little sleepy this weekend, so. <laughs> do you guys look at it as, as your chance to... Or, I mean, shock the league is a bad way to, you know, define it. But, I mean, that's essentially what this could be to, you know, to put people on notice and, and knock off a team that hasn't lost since last year. Yeah, it would be great to win. You know, we beat Cleveland State. They're set, they were preseason second in the league, Green Bay number one. So, I mean, we can do it. We were, you know, picked 10th. And that really, you know, got us going. As soon as we saw that poll that we were picked last, it just motivated us so much, especially, you know, since we beat Valpo twice last year. It was like, why are we last? You know, we finished the season good, and no one thinks we can do it, but we know we can. So it, it'd be nice to prove everybody wrong. What's that like? You know, like you said, you guys were picked last, you know, preseason, and then plus going in on the road 6-3, and three, do you get a little more motivation to go on the road? Yeah, I, def I get motivation. I think the team does too, you know. It is hard because everyone's cheering against you, but you just have to block it out. You know, it's it's a game, you know, wherever it is, we're still going to play. In terms of travel, is this kind of the toughest road trip you have because of just how far you guys have to go and just it's 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 not easy, is it? No, it's not easy, especially we start school tomorrow. So we go for one day 
and we leave Wednesday morning for the trip, and we won't be back until Sunday. So it's rough, but it's not going to be as rough as last year. Last year we had to drive to Milwaukee in a snowstorm, and it was just awful. We were all cramped up on that bus. I think we were just getting sick of each other for a while.